Hello everybody, I am Moldo West, and this is Call of Cthulhu, Dark Corners of the Earth, once again. Probably nothing. Yeah, it's probably nothing. I have narrowly avoided a horrible death in the last episode, only to run face first into another horrible death that I could have easily avoided if I were not so stupid. But now I've got a better understanding of what I'm supposed to do, and that's wait for the right moment to sneak past the cops up here. Yeah, you're over there, just doing your thing, and I need to not go running up behind them, because there's two of them, one looking right this way. You got anything to report? Nope. We should be out there, Nathan. Helping with the hunt. You have your orders. we to stay with the sacrifice. They'll yield us much favor with the order. I uh, think uh, the chief's always up to napping. Why ain't he out here with us? His time draws nigh. Martin can't shut his eyes properly no more. He'll take to the water. So then it'll be me taking charge around here, and things will be dark different. Now get inside and mind that you don't forget to bolt the door. Alright, so now that I've waited for them to finish their conversation instead of trying and failing to slip by. A crowbar. That could come in handy. Yeah. That's handy indeed. So also handy as a makeshift weapon. So uh, how do I pull out this crowbar? It's got to say something about that in the controls. Uh, where is it? Quick heal H. No. Uh, oh, there it is. I press Z. A Z. There we go. Now I can hit things. I ain't a helpless little the baby The door's anymore. bolted shut. Maybe this will break it open for me. Back here would be a great hiding spot. Yeah, it would. So, if I just wait here. Hello? I heard doors opening. The door's bolted shut. So. If I could make some noise to draw the dude out. Hello! Knockity knock knock! I make some noise. Hide back here. And there! I make sparks! Back here would be a great hiding spot. Yeah, it would. But I don't the door's bolted me. shut. Yeah, I don't think smacking the door was doing Who's me Who's there? Good. I can hear you. Uh, all right, here we go. Shh. I'm a private detective. My name's Jack Walters. I'm looking for Burnham. Look, fella, I'm Burnham. What the hell is it you want? Why did you knock off the First National and the Variety Store? What? I'm the manager of First National. Why the blazes would I rob my own store? They haven't even charged me with anything. <laughs> Look, just clear off before you get me in trouble. If Garrison spots you, he'll scream this joint down. Garrison? Yeah, Henry Garrison. He's the crazy fella in the next cell. Whenever he throws a fit, one of Martin's mob are all over this alley like a rash. That Especially tonight. Idea. They seem incredibly twitchy. Much more than usual. So... Let's get this garrison guy's attention. Hey. Hey, garrison. Uh, I see your eyes at the window. Hiding in the blackness. Yep. Now. <laughs> All right. Time for a hidey do. That'll draw somebody out now, won't it? Come on. Get your ass out here. Somebody Something gonna be outside popping out. must have sent him crazy. I suppose I'd better check it out. All right, there's a guy. Now then, 
I ain't sneaking in. Ah. You hear that? Come on. You hear that? There you go. Ha ha. One less guy to worry about. A couple of whacks from a crowbar is all it takes to put you down. I feel much more powerful now that I'm able to defend myself. Alright. So, is there somebody else in here that I need to worry about? Uh, yep. Come on, bitch. Don't you blow that whistle. Hey, you go. Take that. Ha ha. He had a shotgun. Uh-oh. There's somebody here looking for me. I just heard somebody yelling and stuff. Aye, aye, aye. Shot I have been done. But there ain't no bleedy wounds on me. I should go ahead and open this door so nobody else slips in behind me. Hey, don't you run from me. I can't allow that. And now you're gonna get it. Ha -ha. Don't move, outsider. Outsiders are moving. And there we go. Ha -ha. Now we get a taste of this poorly implemented combat system. And I can just patch myself up. All good in the hood. Nobody else here to get me. Shoot gun. A pistol and a shotgun at last. Now I got a good set of weapons. How do I cycle through? Ah, uh, so it's the number keys. Uh-oh, there's people out there. That's the pistol on number three. Number two is nothing. Okay, shotgun's five, pistol is three, crowbar is one. Now we can get somewhere. Peekaboo, motherfucker! Hold! Bam! Okay. Don't let him escape. There. Take that. Now. Hurry up and load that bag up. And bang. There we go. And I might want to patch myself up some. Stop. And... Oh, never mind. I've been hit. So... Yeah, about this whole patching myself up thing. You gonna let that happen or what, asshole? And... Come on, patch it. Patch it quick. There we go. And bang. Damn. Uh, outsider will not die. Outsider cannot die. There's just too much outsider for ya. How about some of uh, this? Ha ha! Now we goddamn reloads. And there's no auto reload going on as soon as I run out. And there we go. Alright. I'm good. And I ain't good and got. And as far as I can tell, I took out everybody in them. In the, oh, never mind. And bang. Boom. Bang, bang. And no. Outsider will not die. I accidentally hit the Z button trying to back up because S is not the backup key like it should be. There we go. Now, let me just heal the claw marks I got on my leg, except I can't because I have no stitches. That's just great. Uh oh. Hello? There's something down there. Something down there. But what, I do not know. If I go to that save point with the star around it, will that heal me up? Or not? I would hope so, because I'm pretty sure that that bleeding there... Oh, it healed up a little bit on its own. Good. That saves me from having to use my healing items and I'm pretty sure it was at the point where I was actually going to bleed out if it didn't heal itself so there's that it's still there it could get worse but maybe it'll heal on its own I hope I'm guessing this just doesn't heal me at all but it is nice to have a savey point what do you think you're doing mister bat oh come on Oh, 
that's all out. Well, can't run out of ammo for beating somebody over the head, now can I? Bonk! Who's Bonk! Ha <laughs> ha! Stupid! Do these guys just infinitely respawn or something? God, I hope that ain't the case. Because if it is, then I'm gonna have some serious problems. All the desk drawers are locked. I wasn't looking for A police door. whistle. Hmm. Could prove useful. All right, some more shooty things. Messing with the alarm would be too risky. Yes, it probably would. They're gonna find you, Jack. And the order shows no mercy. Okay. Brian, where do they keep the keys? Why should I trust you? Because I'm not saying that. In case you haven't noticed it, fella, you're in a bit of a jam here. It could be a trap. Well. Are you crazy? Stop bothering me. All right, guess you just don't want to I don't me. trust you. <laughs> yep, you made that I won't clear. take them. I won't take the accursed oaths. Okay. It's, it's locked. I'm more interested in the guy in there, but okay, I guess it's locked. Now, let's just make sure it's safe in here. I am capable of defending myself now, but still, that doesn't mean I should go throwing myself into some stupid situation. And yeah, I might as well just patch that up, I got plenty of bandages. It ain't bleeding profusely or anything, so I don't need to worry about that. The sink is grimy, and there are traces of some sort of discolored membrane. Gross. So can I open this little cabinet Martin here? seems to be shedding layers of skin. Hmm. Those look the like keys. The keys to the cells. Now I can free Brian. And I can shoot more people with a shotgun. Now, there was also this other door that might have something in it. Hello? Somebody looking for a old-fashioned crowbarin? Showers. Drip, drip, drop. That shadow, oh, it's just a moth. Okay, hello, toilet. I'm not touching it. Yep, I wouldn't either. The sink has been blocked up leaving it full of scummy water. Gross. The bath is encrusted with filth, and there appears to be shreds of skin. Yep, people are shedding skin and turning into reptiles or something, as if they're like fishmen or something of that nature. Anyway, let's go let people out of these cells. It's unlocked. Yeah, it's unlocked. This doll, it must be Ramona's. I was looking at it's the guy. Thomas Waits. Ramona's death must have driven him to cutting his own throat. That sucks. I feel the call inside The poor me. wretch has it lost his mind. The dark ocean. So it's no use. I can't get any sense out of it. Yeah, but I can open the door and beat him to death. I uh, think it would be the sharpest plan to let him out. Yeah, but beating him to death is just it's fine. Unlocked. That's what I want to do. This cell looks like it suffered some kind of fire damage many years ago. Yeah, but the book. This cell looks like it suffered Not the some cell, kind the book. of fire damage many years ago. An old ship's log. Old marked ship's log. with the name Obed Marsh. That's a name. Ship log from Obed Marsh. Hmm. So... That's the guy that brought the cult of Dagon walls. to Inzlip, rats, apparently. Rats in the walls. I hear them. <laughs> I'm not going so anywhere till I know geez. I can trust. So... Would opening the cell mean you trust I'm not going me? anywhere till I know I can trust. So what should I do to make you trust me, then? Maybe if I blow a whistle at you? What is it you're really doing in Innsmouth, Jack? I don't fucking know. I'm trying to make you trust me. Ah, uh, this. This works. Ruth Billingham gave me this. What? This is the photograph I gave her before. Oh, damn. I've been so f I'm sorry. If Ruth trusts you, Jack, then so do I. There we Please, go. hurry and get this door open. All right. 
It's unlocked. The garage on the main street holds an old automobile. It should be able to get us clear to All right. Should be able to. If we could just make it through the patrol. Lead the way, Jack. I already slaughtered most of the patrols, so we shouldn't have to worry about that. Unless they just keep popping in and out of existence like that. We need to check the garage first. Yeah, we'll check the garage. Just don't be such an asshole and go announcing it to anybody who might want to beat us to death. That would be a stupid plan. Now... This is it. Okay, that's the garage. I want to go ahead and save. Damn it. They're not normally locked. We'll have to find another way in. You mean like the way that I'm going? Now, Jack. How about the way that I'm going, jackass? And let's just put that in the ass. What about this door? You can open it, can't you? The doors are locked. You won't be able to get in that way. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and save. So that way I've got you out. I got all this shit. And we don't gotta worry about anything. And I might have just broken my ankles, but I'm still Come on, standing. Jack. We need to get off the streets. Come on, Brian. Shut up. It's no use, Jack. We need to try another way. <laughs> so maybe around this side, we can slip in through the back. No, wait. I was already over here. I got turned around somehow. God damn it. This way might lead around the back. No, wait. This is just behind the jailhouse. Hmm. That don't work none. <laughs> This Come on, way, Jack. Maybe. We need to get off the street. Shut up, stupid. What do you think I'm doing? I am trying to get off the streets. The uh, grate's too heavy to lift with my bare hands. But maybe if I had a crowbar. Uh, yeah. That's how we do it. So I could get in this way, maybe. Open that thing up. And get my gun out. The streets have no cover, Jack. We're I know! Covered. We're not on the streets, dumb fuck! We're in the sewers! Learn the difference! God damn! Right, Bertha fucking don't know how to shut his goddamn face hole! There's something wrong down here. Something very wrong. And it's probably something that can Ugh, be solved with bullets. This place is giving me the creeps. Is that a half eaten rat? The running corpse of a rat. I suppose it might come in useful. How? How in the fuck? I think one dead rat is enough for anyone. Yeah. Even though, uh, even then. Oh, the stench here is sickening. Would you it's shut up, please? Some more than just sewage. Is this that burning stuff? Nope, that's just dirt. But I also can't help questioning why in the hell would he think a dead Let's rat get out of here, useful? quickly! What do you think I'm trying to do, Brian? If you keep mouthing off, I'm gonna turn around and shoot you in the head. God damn. I value your life, but I value my peace and quiet even more. Now, let's see if any fish man monsters show up. They get in a face full of bullets. It might not do any good, but damn, it'll make me feel good. Here we go. There's a way up. Come on, Jack. Shut up, Brian. Oh, Hello. Congratulations on your new promotion to Innsmouth's enemy number one. Shut your trap, Mackie. You're not a factory inspector. Who do you work for? For the governor. Okay, That's detective. Who? I'll come clean. I'm an undercover agent for the United States Treasury Department. We've been working closely with the FBI on a secret investigation of Innsmouth. I'm the inside man. You don't really? say. What have you been able to find out? Place the Innsmouth look, Jack. It's at the heart of the problems in this town. More than half the population must be infected by now. <laughs> the spreading of that contagion, or whatever the hell you want to call it, is the key. I just know it. <laughs> this is all very interesting, fellas. But we gotta get out of Innsmouth with Ruth. She's waiting for us at some old fishing cannery. Just past the station to Rowley. Listen, right. Jack. 
There are some agents watching the road not far past that spot. If you can make it there, you'll be safely picked up. So we got a way you to do out. something for me. You can do it while I get this thing started. When they arrested me, they took a brooch I was carrying. It belonged to Ruth. It carries her picture inside. I won't leave it behind. Are you crazy? We don't have time for this. They'll be holding it in the jail office safe. Oh I don't know the combination. God. I overheard Ropes talking to one of the other guards. He said something about an important date, and someone called Captain Obed Marsh. Uh, hey. If you want to get in through the back door, just knock, and I'll open it for you. All right. So, yeah. It won't budge. Damn. That kind of sucks. So, why don't this door open? It won't open. It's got that knob on it. The door handle ain't missing or anything. And, oh, that back door. That's the door I need. I also need all of your drugs and ammunition. That will be very, very useful. Unlike that dead rat that might be useful. Well, who knows? Maybe I'll find some use for that dead rat. Perhaps a use will be found. Open the door, please. There we go. Save point, good. Perhaps the use for that dead rat will be found in the next episode. Because I'm all out of time for this one, so thank you all so much for watching. I hope you're watching. Let's see you again in the next one. Yeah.